What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to the video. Today I'm doing race fix for the 2023 Xfinity 500. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Streets heads to the half a mile paperclip of Martinsville Speedway. This is the penultimate race of the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series Championship and this is the race that will decide who will get into the championship for when we head to Phoenix Raceway next week. But first we got a race at Martinsville Speedway this weekend. The last time we raced here for the fall race at Marlins, we saw the Hail Melon from Ross Chastain, one of the most iconic moves in NASCAR Cup Series history, which unfortunately has been banned. And we also saw Christopher clutch his way into the championship four. We also, last time we were here, we got to see Kyle Larson pick up, I believe, his second or first victory, second victory, I should say, of 2023. He looks to pick up his fifth win of 2023 this weekend at Martinsville Speedway. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. So before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for this weekend is looking extremely promising. It's going to be 82 degrees high with 57 degrees low front, only a 10% chance of rain with partly cloudy skies. It's going to be some really warm weather, which is kind of not normal for this time in the Marlsville area, which could play a factor into the type of tires and could have more tire fall, which could help the racing this weekend, considering the short track package has not been as good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the playoff standings going to the final race of the round of eight. So Kyle Larson and Chris Abella, of course, are locked into the championship for Kyle Larson winning in Las Vegas and Chris Abella winning this past weekend at home to Miami Speedway. William Byer is 30 points above the cutoff line and Ryan Blaney is 10 points up. Tyler Reddick is 10 points below. Mark Church and Denny Howard are both 17 points below. And Chris Buescher is 43 points below. It's going to be valuable between Ryan Blaney, Tyler Reddick, Mark Church and Denny Howard on that last spot. I think the best chance goes to a driver like Denny Howard, but Ryan Blaney historically has been good here at Marnsville. So I think it's going to be a very interesting battle going into the final race before the championship four. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, here's our pick work on the channel. I do two suck picks, two drivers. I expect to struggle throughout the week and have not had a good stretch race or have not been good at the type of racetrack. I do two underdog picks, two drivers. I expect on really, really well and under front of Chroma or need a good run this weekend. And I do my winner's pick, the driver thinks going to win the race overall. And then I do drivers you can watch out for. And for the Cup Series, I usually do five drivers you need to watch out for. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the Xfinity 500? My first suck pick for this week in a Marzal is a driver of the eight car for Rich Schultz Racing, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch started off 2023 really, really strong, but in the second half of the year, he has been extremely inconsistent. On top of that as well, Kyle Busch has not been good on the short tracks outside of the LA Clash and also Richmond a few months ago. Outside of that, Kyle Busch has not been very good at the short tracks. I think RCR is a little bit down in performance on the short tracks. So therefore, I think Kyle Busch is sadly going to struggle this weekend at Marzal Speedway. I'm not expecting him to have a good run. I think he finishes outside the top 20 or maybe even outside the top 25 this weekend at Marzal Speedway. My second suck pick for this week in Marnsville is a driver of the 99 car for Trackhouse Racing, Daniel Suarez. Very similar to Kyle Busch, Daniel Suarez has been awful at short tracks in 2023. But not only that, he has not been good historically at Marnsville. I don't think he's even scored a top 10 finish in his NASCAR Cup Series career at Martinsville Speedway. So therefore, I think Daniel Suarez is not going to have a good run. I think he's going to finish outside the top 20 this week in Martinsville. And I think he's going to be surprisingly not running well. He's been up and down this year in 2023. Unfortunately, I don't think Daniel Suarez has a good run this weekend at Martinsville Speedway. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on the underdog picks for the Xfinity 500. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick for this weekend at Martinsville is a driver of the 41 car for Stuart Haas Racing, Ryan Priest. Remember when we came back here in the spring? Ryan Priest had the dominant car early. He won the pole and led 140 or 141 last, but he had a speeding penalty. So he was really good here in the spring. On top of that as well, at Richmond a few months ago, Ryan Priest was one of the fastest cars on the long run and ran in the top 5 of 10 a majority of the day. And SHR was really good here in the spring. So therefore, I think Ryan Priest is actually going to run really well this weekend and maybe an outside chance to potentially get his first career NASCAR Cup Series victory at Martinsville. My second underdog pick for this weekend at Martinsville is a driver of the 10 car for Stuart Haas Racing, Eric Amarola. 
Eric Amaral also ran really well here in the spring. But not only that, Eric Amaral has surprisingly actually been running kind of well. He's only had one finish outside the top 20 in the last 10 races, and he's coming off of finishing in ninth place this past weekend at home San Miami Speedway. And there's a lot of momentum going Eric Amaral Ray, uh, Eric Amaral's Ray right now. Obviously, Eric Amaral has not made a decision in regards to what he's doing for 2024 yet, though it sounds like he's going to retire at the end of the year. But I think Eric Amaral could end the year off really high, and maybe, just maybe, Eric Amaral could potentially contend for top five this weekend at Martinsville Speedway. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on to the winner's pick for the Xfinity 500. Who is my winner's pick? This one was a tough one to predict. There's a lot of guys who can run really, really well. And I think the, the speed on practice and how you qualify is going to be a determining factor. My pick to win this weekend at Martinsville is the driver of the 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports, William Byron. William Byron has been pretty good on short tracks this year, and he's already won here at Martinsville before, all the way back in 2022 in the spring. And William Byron historically has been very good at this race track, even back in 2018 and 2019. So I think that William Byron is going to be really strong. I think he's going to have great speed and show a lot of consistency. And I think William Byron, despite being 30 points up, not needing the win, I think he lost his way in the championship four with a win this weekend at Martinsville. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend at Martinsville. Who should you watch out for? The first driver you should watch out for for this weekend at Martinsville is the driver of the 12th car for Team Penske, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney has historically been very good at the straight shot. While he's never won here in the NASCAR Cup Series, he's had a lot of top fives and top ten finishes. He had a lot of lap slide. In fact, I believe he's the only driver that's still in the playoffs right now that has finished in the top ten in all three next-gen races or current-gen races at Martinsville Speedway. I think Ryan Blaney will be very quick, and Team Penske's been pretty good on short tracks in 2023, which I think will play a role in helping out Ryan Blaney. I think he's going to be a threat for the win. The second driver you should watch out for for this weekend at Martinsville is the driver of the 23 car for 2311 Racing, Bubba Walls. Bubba Walls has been pretty good so far in the second half of the year, and on top of that, this team has been solid on short tracks this year as well. I go back to Richmond where they were dominant force in the beginning of the race. I think Bubba Walls is going to be pretty quick this weekend. I expect 2311 brings some strong speed for him and Tyler Reddick. I think the Bubba Walls will have a pretty good run this weekend at Martinsville Speedway. The third driver you should watch out for for this weekend at Martinsville is a driver of the five car for Hendrick Motorsports, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson is the defending winner of this race, and despite having the mistake he made on pit road at home San Miami Speedway, I expect Kyle Larson to be really strong here. He's been good since getting to Hendrick Motorsports. kind of struggled when he drove for Ganassi, but since getting to Hendrick Motorsports, Kyle Larson has actually been very good and very consistent. So therefore, I think Kyle Larson will have a good run this weekend at Marlinsville Speedway as he tries to move on and get another victory. The fourth driver to watch out for for this weekend at Martinsville is the driver of the four car for Stuart Haas Racing, Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick has struggled the points here, but he's been pretty good at times this year as well. And going back to the spring race, he had one of the strongest cars in the field, but unfortunately they had a shim tire that broke and unfortunately cost him a good opportunity to win the race. I expect Kevin Harvick to be really good this weekend. He's been really good at the short tracks. He didn't run great at Bristol, unfortunately, but I do believe that Kevin Harvick will have some good pace and speed. Someone that can do anything, Ronnie chose probably to help him out here. I think Kevin Harvick will have a very good and strong run this weekend at Martinsville Speedway. And the fifth final driver I think you should watch out for for this weekend at Martinsville is a driver the loving car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin, historically, is fantastic at this track. He's won here like six or seven times in his NASCAR Cup Series career. Yes, he's not won here since, I believe, 2015. But I do believe Denny Hamlin will be a threat to win this weekend. He's come up close to getting the victory done here the last few years. He's been historically good here. He's had a really good short track program. And I think Denny Hamlin will have a really great chance and a really great opportunity to contend for the win this weekend at Martinsville Speedway. So... Those are my race picks for the Xfinity 500 at Marzel. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Kyle Busch, Daniel Suarez. My underdog picks are Ryan Priest, Eric Amarola. My winner's pick is William Byron. And the drivers to watch out for are Ryan Blaney, Bubba Walls, Kyle Larson, Kevin Harvick, and Denny Hamlin. Those are my race picks. So, that is going to be the race picks video for the 2023 Xfinity 500 at Marzel Speedway. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. notifications on so if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. 
Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and support me on Patreon as well. Link in the description below that and combo your picks below for this weekend of Marsville. Let me know your suck picks, let me know your underdog picks, let me know your winner's pick, and let me know your drivers you're watching out for for this weekend of Marsville. Let me know your picks in the comments below. I don't think there's going to be another video dropping on the channel today. Tomorrow, we're going to have a NASCAR news video most likely dropping on the channel. Then Thursday, I potentially could have be talking about the championship four, but there could be another special video dropping on Thursday. Friday, there's going to be a NASCAR news video dropping on the channel more than likely. And then Saturday and Sunday, we'll have the NASCAR Xfinity Series race on Saturday. And then Sunday, we'll have the NASCAR Cup Series race view for Martinsville. We've got a lot of fantastic and great content dropping on the channel as we get closer to Championship Week. And, of course, Championship Week is next week where there's going to be a lot of content dropping during Championship Week. So, anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more of your awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.